Okay, welcome back. PK here. So I'm looking at this interesting algebra question from International Math Olympiad. The question is, determine the number of ordered pairs of integers m and n, for which m times n is greater than or equal to 0, and m cubed plus n cubed plus 99 m n is equal to 33 cubed. So for this question, let's think about, because we have a cubic equation, let's think about this m plus n cubed. So if you distribute this, then we'll have m cubed plus n cubed plus 3m uh, square n plus 3m n square. So the last two terms is going to be grouped as 3m times n plus m plus n. Okay, so this is what we got for m plus n cubed is equal to. But then again, based on the condition from the question, we have m cubed plus n cubed plus 99 mn is 33 cubed. So in this situation, we can actually think that if your m plus n, if this is equal to 33, then m plus n cubed, this is going to be 33 cubed, right? But then again, we already have this m plus n cubed as m cubed plus n cubed plus 3 mn plus times m plus n, that is just equal to 33, right? So that's why the last term is going to be 99mn. Okay, this is what we have. And then based on this, if your m plus n is equal to 33, then we can actually say your m plus n minus 33. This is going to be the factor. factor of the original equation that the question has given to you, which is, let me move this 33 cubed to the left hand side. So this m plus n minus 33 has to be the factor of m cubed plus n cubed uh, plus 99 mn minus 33 cubed is equal to 0. Okay, so let's think about your factor the form. Since m plus n minus 33 has to be the factor of this entire expression, then we can represent this m cubed plus n cubed plus 99 m n minus 33 cubed. This is, first of all, m plus n minus 33 times some other factor, right? But instead of this factor, we have, um, we basically have m cubed and n cubed, which means we should have m square and then n square. And at the same time, we have negative 33 cubed as the constant, which means we should have plus 33 square. But then again, this is not the end of it. We should have some more terms inside of this parenthesis. Let's talk about the term. So um, we will have some more terms inside. In order for us to get them, then let's distribute this and that parenthesis. Then we will have Okay, m cubed plus m n square and then plus 33 square m and then plus n m square and then plus n cubed. Now plus 33 square and n. Lastly, we have negative 33 m square and then minus 33 n square and we have minus 33 cubed, right. So this is what we have before we have some more terms inside of this parenthesis, and this is going to be the little trick. So, so far, anyway, if you distribute this factor with some other factors, we should end up with this m cubed plus n cubed plus 99mn minus 33 cubed. So basically, we already have this m cubed, and then also this n cubed. And also we have this negative 33 cubed. So that's why with the remaining terms, we need to make anyway this 99 mn, right? But then again, from this, we have the remaining term has to be mn squared plus nm squared. And we have negative 33 m squared minus 33 um, n squared. Okay, so this is what we have. And from this, from negative 33m squared 
and then negative 3, 33 and square. Okay. Basically, what we need is 33m and 33n. So that's why we need 33m plus 33n. Okay, this is what we need for sure, based on this. And other than that, other than this and that terms, we have now mn square plus nm square, and then we have plus 33 m square and then uh, plus 33 square n. So that's why this whole term, anyway, we need to use this 99 mn. So that's why we have only one term other than this 33 m and 33 n, which has to be m times n based on this expression. And then if you simply work on this a little bit more, then the sign of it should be negative mn, which is what we need. Okay, so that's why this whole thing is going to be just equal to now this, let me call this as the star. So star equation is now completely factored out as m plus n minus 33. That multiplied by this whole thing, right? This whole thing right there, which is m squared plus n squared minus mn plus 33m, right? Plus 33m, and then plus 33n, plus, lastly, uh, 33 squared. Okay, this is what we have. So that's why we can move on, and then since n plus n minus 33 has to be the factor, and then this second parenthesis has to be the factor too. So let's talk about it in more details. So, so far we have, um, I'll be writing this down again, m plus n minus 33 times m squared plus n squared minus mn, and then plus 33 m plus 33 n. Now plus 33 square. So this factor, it is okay. So let's talk about the second parenthesis as a factor. Okay, so this is what we need to talk about. And then first, let me think about m minus n square. That is m square minus 2 m n plus n square. Then what about m plus 33 Square. This is going to be m square plus 66 m uh, plus now 33 square. And then what about n plus 3? 33 square. This is going to be n square plus 66 n plus 33 square also, right? And then what we need to do is we can add those three up, right? then we will have um, 2m square. And then we have 2n square. And then we will have now negative 2mn plus 66m plus 66n. Uh, now 33 square plus 33 square is going to be 2 times 33 square. Okay, this is what we have. So like I said, if you divide this expression, all of these terms by 2, then we will get this expression inside of your second parenthesis. So that's why we can represent this original equation that is n cubed plus n cubed uh, plus 99mn minus 33 cubed is equal to 0. We can represent this as, first of all, we'll be dividing all your terms by 2. Then we will get this second parenthesis. So I'll pull this 1 over 2 out. Multiply by the first, your factor n plus n minus 33. Multiply by this whole thing. This whole thing is going to be then m minus n squared plus m plus 33 squared plus n plus 33 squared. So we can make your bracket instead. Then we will have m minus n squared plus m plus 33 squared and then plus 
n plus 33 square and close your bracket. So that's why, um, how many order pairs of m and n that satisfy your condition? First of all, we can have, if your first parenthesis is equal to zero, that means m plus n has to be equal to 33. So we can have, since one of them has, one of them could be equal to zero, since m times n is greater than e equal to zero. So we can start with zero and 33 and 1 and 32, all the way up to 33 and 0. So total we have, so far we have 34 ordered pairs. But then again, if you take a look at your bracket, if your bracket, the whole bracket is equal to 0, then your whole thing is now equal to 0 too. So that's why your bracket turns out to be 0 if all of your m and n are Negative 33. That makes sense. Negative 33, negative, negative, plus 33 is 0. And then if m and n are both negative 33, then these two parentheses are equal to 0. So that's why we have one more order pair. That is negative 33 and negative 33. So the answer for this question is... The total 35 ordered pairs of M and N that satisfy your conditions. Okay, so pretty interesting algebra question from International Math Olympiad. So I'll be back with more videos, more questions like this sometime soon.